Hello nursery, so this is our math lesson and today in our math lesson we're going to look at the numbers, so what the number name is and we're going to use our fingers to show that many, okay? So let's have a look at some numbers, you ready? Okay, so this is my turn, number zero, your turn. And can you show me zero? Can you remember how we did it at nursery? Well done, zero. So we're not showing any fingers. Fantastic. Let's look at the next number. So this is my turn. One. Your turn. Fantastic. And can you show me one finger? One. Wonderful. This is my turn. Two. Your turn. Can you show me two fingers? Two. Wonderful. This is number three. So my turn. Three, your turn. Can you show me three fingers? Three, well done. This is my turn. Four, your turn. Fantastic. And can you show me four fingers? Wonderful, four fingers, well done. This is my turn. Five, your turn. Well done. Can you show me five fingers? Five, fantastic. This is my turn, six. Can you, sh your turn? And can you show me six fingers? Fantastic, six. This is my turn, seven. Your turn, wonderful. And can you show me seven fingers? Seven, fantastic. This is my turn. Eight, your turn. And can you show me eight fingers? Eight, fantastic. This is my turn, nine, your turn. Can you show me nine fingers? Fantastic, nine. And this is my turn, 10, your turn. Wonderful. Can you show me 10 fingers? Well done. Well done, nursery. So we've looked at the number names and we've practiced using our fingers to show what num what, how many that number means. Okay. Now, if there's any of those numbers between zero and 10 that you find a bit tricky, then you should stop the video now and find ways to practice learning what those numbers are. So you could have number hunts, you could use flashcards, you could just find different ways and um, keep watching the video if you need to, try and remember what those number names are. But if you think you can move on to the next challenge, then let's try the next challenge, okay? Okay, nursery. So do you remember in one of our last videos, we practiced counting two different piles and then putting them all together to see how many we had? We're gonna do that again, okay? And we're going, but this time we're going to challenge ourselves and we're going to choose some numbers in advance and then we're going to see if we can use a plus sign but you don't have to it's not important that you know it just so that you know that when you're doing these kind of counting that sometimes a plus sign will tell you that that's what you need to do but please don't think that you have to know this okay right so what we're going to do is Miss Lynch is going to choose two numbers so I think I'll use number one and number three, okay? And I'm gonna put my numbers on the table and I'm gonna put my plus sign in the middle and then I'm gonna see if I can count one object. So I've got one, okay? Plus, and then I'm gonna count three. So one, two, three. And then to find out how many I have all together, so how many they go, can they go together? I'm gonna to put them together. And then I'm gonna count that it makes one, two, three, four. So one plus three makes four. Okay, and I'm gonna do it again. So I'm gonna choose some different numbers. You know, when I'm doing this, I'm using numbers between zero and five 
to make it a little bit easier. So this time I'm going to choose number five and I'll choose number four. Okay, so if I've got five plus four, then I need to count five first. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and now what's the next amount I need? I need four. So on this side, I'm going to count four. So one, two, three, four. So I'm going to count four. And then to find out how many I have all together, can you remember what I need to do? That's right, I need to put them together. So I'm going to put them all together. And then I'm going to count and find out how many I have all together. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So all together it made nine. Now, when you're doing counting like this nursery, the most important thing is to remember that every time you pick up an object that you say a number name for it and that we count really, really carefully to make sure we stop at the number of objects that's there. Okay, so if we count too quickly, then we might miss some, some objects. Okay, so it's important to count slowly and carefully to make sure that every time you count an object, you say a name, number name, and that you stop counting at the number that you have. Okay, and if you're finding the number name, knowing what the number names are really tricky, then please just focus on that and try, try to um, make sure that you know what all the number names are from zero to 10 and then you can count in different ways and like I said this is really important for counting and don't worry too much about knowing what the number or what the plus sign is okay it's just so that you know that you can use it when you're doing challenges like this okay but it's not vital that you know what it is it's just to help you know that it exists okay you'll learn more about that when you get a little bit bigger and you go to reception okay the main thing is practice counting and I can't wait to see different ways that you count different things and if you're feeling really really adventurous you can give this a go okay right but stay safe and we'll see you soon all right take care bye